before we talk about Whitby Dunlops and the playoffs start tomorrow against the Dundas Real McCoys, uh, President Steve Cardwell is on the line this morning. Morning, Cards. Good morning, Terry. And how are you doing, Rob? Oh, there he is. He's he's there. There he is. <laughs> He was pressing buttons at the same time. Sorry about that. What, what was that, Steve? Good morning, he said. Good morning. Guys. Uh, uh, you, you played for the Penguins, and, and you played for many teams. Who was, who was the best goalie you ever played against? Somebody like Ben Scrivens, who had two shutouts in a row. Well, I'll tell you one thing. For the Leafs, uh, that's just such an improvement. When you've got goaltending the way they've had so far, other than that one game, uh, that's been the real high point is the goaltending. Yeah. Did you have any good goalies like that behind you? Well, I played a lot, against a lot of good ones in this. Jimmy, Jimmy Rutherford would probably be the best one that I played with. You never had a problem. When the puck came back there, you thought, ah, oh, no problem. He'll, he'll have no problem with it. <laughs> he's had a pretty good career as a manager, too, hasn't he? He certainly has. He, and you know what he's a, he's a wonderful guy, Jim. He's, he's run that Carolina organization very well. But he was a great goaltender. He moved the puck so well, he was like a third defenseman. Hey, Steve, I'm looking back. You're, you're going to play a playoff series against the Dundas Real McCoys. I'm looking over the season series. You guys had the edge, but what? Eight? Uh, you won nine four. You won eight five. They won a couple of games. It's not going to be a, a cakewalk, is it? It really isn't. Uh, the Allen Cup hockey this year, the, especially the top three clubs, are so close. Brantford, Dundas, and Whitby. Uh, it's going to go, come down to the team that gets the best goaltending. I don't think there's any doubt about it. It's, it has been the same in the last two or three years. Goaltending wins playoffs. Defense wins playoffs. And I think that's going to be the same thing again this year, Rob. Much of a worry then that you lost the final regular season game, or at that point was did it not matter much? Well, when it came down to the last game against Welland anyway, it was just one of those things where we had, I think we had 50 shots on the Welland goaltender, and he played so well. It was a must-win for them. In our case, it was the second game in two nights. We were on the road both games, and I think that uh, they just caught up to us a bit. Yeah. So who are the two goalies you're going to be relying on for the playoffs? Well, uh, Dane Davis is our is the number one goaltender, and I think he's probably going to get most of the workload. Uh, I think we're going to rely on him this year. I think when you get to the Allen Cup playoffs, and you only got a 24 game schedule, Terry, I think you have to rely on the guy that kind of got you there, and he played most of the games for us all year. So his save percentage is about the opposite of Terry's. He's uh-huh. he stopped about 90 percent of the shots he's faced. So. Fine, I didn't let one goal in on the weekend, not one. You know what? Sometimes it works in reverse like that. The rest of the team really gets up for it. When the goaltender is not letting in goals, they play even harder. Yeah, I've I, I wondered about that, too, because, I mean, you know, a lot of times if the goalie's, you know, having a, a bit of a rough go or you've left about hanging, you know, a couple of shots he saves and then the defenseman let the, you know, don't clear the rebound, they have to, they have to step it up. And does that, does that reflect on a team sometimes? Well, there's no question about it. Uh, you know, the goaltenders make the big saves. It lifts the team, and it happens the opposite way, too, if, if those easy goals go in and a guy's been working really hard, it's very deflating quickly. So it works in reverse, and it works, uh, uh, I would say, 90% of the time. You make the big save, you win the game. Steve, you, you guys, you do practice uh, you know, a fair bit for senior hockey. I, I don't think all teams practice quite as much as the Dunnies do. How are things going in terms of uh, special teams? Because that's always important, play, uh, power play and penalty kill. Well, if you look at the record for the year, d- during the regular season anyway, we haven't been doing overly well on the specialty teams. Our power play is the probably the lowest percentage in the league, and the penalty kill is on average right in the middle. So we're okay that way, and we have a number of players that are quite committed on the penalty kill. The, the tough one is the power play. We've we've had a, a bunch of our regular guys that you know of on the power play, Pete McKellar and uh, Jay McCauley. They've been in and out of the lineup, and we've we've moved a few centermen in and out of that number one power play. So we haven't clicked yet on the power play, and and of course we're running out of time. So. We'll go with our regular power play to start the, se- the playoffs, and we'll see what happens. Uh, so, yeah, and you got a busy week though, because you start at home tomorrow night at eight o'clock at Iroquois, and then away in, in in Dundas on Friday, and then home again on Saturday. So that's a that's a bit of a run. It is for senior hockey because all season long, with only twenty four games, you average about one point four games a week. So uh, when you get down to this, where you're playing three games in four nights. It's a, it's a bit different. So we've been gearing up with extra practices towards this. So hopefully the guys are in shape. We're pretty healthy, and uh, we're looking forward to a good playoff run. Go get them, Cards. Well, we really appreciate it. And fans, if you want to see some great hockey, come on out Wednesday and Saturday, two teams that don't get along very well, Whippy and Dundas. <laughs> sort of like listening to this morning show. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cards. Steve Cardwell, president of the Whippy Dunlops, whippydunlops.com. Tomorrow night, 8 o'clock at Iroquois Park Sports Complex.